Today, I'm going to try and name every country in the world, but from 1900. Kia ora all, welcome to Mr Quiz. We are doing a classic sport hall quiz today with a bit of a twist. We're going to try and name every country in the world, but it is from the year 1900, so a good 123 years ago. Not sure exactly what month in 1900 this is from. Um, maybe it'll matter, maybe it won't. Um, thank you very much to Alex Kowal, Alex Kowal, Kowal 11, who made this quiz uh, for me. It, it looks amazing, um, and obviously a lot of work has gone into this, so really, really appreciate that. We've got 234 countries and 25 minutes. I am going to switch this to practice mode, just in case we do run out of time. Although there is going to be a lot I think I don't know, um, but we don't want to uh, sell ourselves short if we don't have to. Um, reading the note, this does include colonies, um, as well as countries, and of course the definition of country even now is um, not, sub or it's subjective, not objective, so um, even more so 123 years ago. Right, let's just jump into it. Let's start, I guess, easiest place to start is just with Europe, right? Um, you can all see that okay, hopefully. Uh, if I need to zoom in, I can use um, this little thing. Okay, cool. So let's do UK, first of all. So we've got Great Britain and Ireland, okay. Uh, up here we have Iceland, which was still under Danish rule, um, but uh, independent enough to count in this quiz as a colony. Same with Greenland, I guess. Um, and then Faroe Islands are also up there. Okay, that's interesting. Cool, let's do uh, Scandinavia. So we'll have Denmark, obviously, keeping with that theme. Um, and then we are going to have uh, Sweden. No, not Sweden. Uh, this is going to be Sweden, Norway, right? I like the effort that's gone in with making the flags here. Yeah, perfect. Sweden, Norway. And then Finland, I mean, was part of Russia at this point, right? But... Um, Okay, it's counted as a separate country, and we'll do Russia as well. Right, okay, we'll have Germany, uh, that's the Kingdom of Germany, and Netherlands, uh, Belgium was independent, Luxembourg was independent, uh, France, of course, was independent, Monaco, okay, I wasn't too sure about that, but Andorra definitely was, as was Spain, and Portugal. Okay, so we're uncovering some of the map now. And then, is this going to be Gibraltar? Are they going to include Gibraltar as an overseas colony at this point? Okay, interesting. Uh, right, let's do um, Switzerland, definitely. Uh, and then it'll be Austria-Hungary, right, in Europe. Okay, perfect. Uh, Croatia wasn't. Serbia, was that independent yet? It was. And Montenegro was also independent, wasn't it? Okay, Greece definitely was. Um... Italy for sure, but not the Vatican City, but San Marino was. Okay, and then we've got one more up here, which could be Liechtenstein. Okay, great. Right, so, oh cool, different flags, that's awesome. Uh, right, so this should be past the point, the Bulgaria and Romania declare independence yet? They did, yeah, in the Balkan Wars, okay. And then we're going to have Malta and Cyprus as British colonies, I guess. Okay, um, when we get to Africa and um, parts of Asia, the names of the countries will be different than what we're used to. So, um, uh, yeah, that's interesting. Okay, is this going to be the Azores? Is that going to count as its own um, entity? It is. Okay. Um, and then let's go to the Middle East, where we will have uh, presumably the Ottoman Empire. Uh, we'll have Persia. No, is it called Iran? Okay, interesting. Um and then UAE was called Trucial States, is that right? Yeah, um, where has it gone? Trucial States, I think. Uh, and then I'm not sure if Ka Kuwait and Qatar and Bahrain were British colonies, but I'm not sure if they're going to count. Okay, they are, um, just not one of them. And then in here we've got um, the Kingdom of Saud, uh, which was kind of nomadic, right, at that point. It wasn't, uh, hadn't really been unified politically. Okay, let's go over to the rest of Asia. Uh, we should have Afghanistan, um, and then British India. Okay, uh, this is where it gets a bit confusing for me, because India was kind of, obviously you've got Pakistan, India, uh, Bangladesh, uh, Burma was still part of the colony of India at that point, but then a lot of them were kind of... Um, princely states which were technically ruled by like maharajas uh, or other rulers um but obviously overseen by britain as puppet empires anyway i think nepal was independent bhutan wasn't okay um 
history of Nepal and Bhutan is very interesting. Like, is Ceylon going to count? Okay. Uh, and then, how are they going to have ordered this? Okay, down here in Southeast Asia, we'll have Siam. Uh, we'll have Malaya. British Malaya? Okay, British Malaya. Um, and then this is French Indochina. Okay, that's Vietnam, Laos, and Cambodia. Oh, look at these Indonesian ones. That's annoying. These are all the Dutch East Indies. So if I just type Dutch East Indies, what's going to come up here? Okay, just, just one centered around Java. So we still have all the um, Borneo, Sumatra, Sulawesi, um, Papua New Guinea, etc. Or New Guinea. Let's do Australia, because uh, that was before Confederation of Australia, which happened, I think, a year later. So we'll have South Australia, uh, Victoria, uh, Queensland, technically like all independent-ish countries at this point, New South Wales, like still under the monarchy of, well, the monarchy of the UK as we still are now. Um, the story of Australian and New Zealand independence has been, um, yeah, there's not really one firm date really, let's just put it that way. It's a gradual process of home rule, and then uh, New Zealand, which has never joined Australia, even though it has a standing invitation to do so. Okay, um, these Pacific Islands are interesting. Uh, like Tahiti, is that going to be here? No, um, if I say French Polynesia... Okay, that is going to be there. This was the one on the um, in the east by South America. Um, French Settlements of Oceania is what it's called. Okay, so what about the British territories? Uh, Alice Islands? Nope. Uh, well, there's German Samoa, um, because then it got over uh, given to New Zealand in 1918 after World War One. Is American Samoa going to count here? It is. Okay. Uh, Fiji? No, uh, but Tonga actually might have been, well, it would have still had a king at that point, but independence is, yeah, a difficult one. Um, like Vanuatu and Solomon Islands, uh, Gilbert Islands was Kiribati, wasn't it? Okay, let's come back to that. Um, this one here could be Guam. Okay, Guam, it was Guam, perfect. Uh, again, definitely part of the US, but um, if this was just a country to the world quiz, there'd only be like 40 or 50 countries. So having colonies and um, protectorates and stuff is good for this quiz. Right, let's do... Can I just work on some of the Indonesian ones just for a second? Like, Singapore wasn't a political entity until much later. Um, Borneo, Brunei, possibly. Okay, um... Philippines was American at that point, right? Uh, oh no, it was still Spanish, and then it got um, conquered by the Americans shortly after this quiz was made. Well, shortly after this quiz was set, I should say. Um, New Guinea, is that going to count? No, uh, like British New Guinea. Okay, British New Guinea, perfect. And then Dutch New Guinea? Okay, that's the um, area in Yaya, what we now call West Papua. And then up, we've got another little one here as well in the island of New Guinea. Uh, okay, what else could be there? Like Java, Sumatra, uh, Sula, or Salabus, wasn't it? It was called then, uh, Borneo. Right, let's come back because we might need to try a few different combinations for that. Let's go up to Japan, which was very much independent at the stage, just a few years short of beating Russia in the um, Russo-Japanese War. Uh, and then China, I mean, this was the end of the Qing, uh, Qing Dynasty. Um, and then we've got all these other places in China, huh? Uh, like, well, okay. Is Formosa going to count as an independent country or Taiwan? Okay. Um, and then Korea was a Japanese, I, I think it was Japanese at that point. Yeah, the maps would suggest, mm, maybe not. Is that a Korean flag or a Japanese flag? I can't tell. Apologies if I get my dates wrong. At some point it was a Japanese protectorate. And then, I guess Manchuria could be here as well. No. Um, oh, what was the other name for Manchuria? And then, like, Hong Kong was British, Macau was Portuguese. Uh, oh, Port Arthur? That's kind of more part of um, 
Russia, right? This 1900 was the year where eight nations invaded China to force it to, you know, keep open for uh, trade and um, uh, general uh, openness with the West, which is interesting. Okay, um, like, are there going to be, like, concessions? Like, Shanghai, okay, um, Beijing. So it's going to be, like, I guess colonial concessions. Um, what about Okinawa or Iwo Jima for that island just south of Japan? Okay, no. Um, and what's these ones up here to the north? Well, is that, I can count Sapporo as a separate country? No. Oh, Hokkaido? Okay, it does count Hokkaido separately. Interesting. Uh, and this is the Kuril Islands, which run from Kamchatka to Japan. Is that right? Yeah, okay. They were Russian and then overtaken by Japanese, I think, at some point. Um, ooh, okay, uh, let's just try a few other cities in China and then we'll move on. Oh, wow. Lots of Wuhan. Okay. That was uh, unexpected. I was going to say Wuhan is probably... Um, What's it under Hanku? Interesting. Uh, like Xi'an, probably too inland, but Shenzhen is a possibility. Uh, Nanjing or Nanking, um, Beijing, uh, Canton? No. Ooh, what happened? Are these all newish names anyway? Oh, Dalian is there. Okay, perfect. Um, by the way, please, any. Um, elaboration on any of these places please let me know in the comments below this is how we learn as a community so um yeah good to know because yeah i'm learning and obviously like the status of some of these places is very um up in the year okay let's just try timor no okay uh portuguese timor oh and i just realized what some of those indian ones are going to be goa um what was the other was there another Portuguese place in the Indian subcontinent? It's not British India, right? It's probably under something else. British Raj? There we go. Okay, perfect. British Raj. Okay, what's down here? Maldives? That's always been called the Maldives, right? And then other Indian Ocean ones, we've got uh, Seychelles, uh, Mauritius, uh, Comoros. Um, Réunion, that was French, probably not part of French, um, uh, the French Republic just yet, or probably not part of, like, metropo not metropolitan France, but, you know, um, probably not an overseas French department at that stage. Okay, let's do the, uh, North America, because, uh, a lot of these countries became independent super early, well, certainly in Latin America. So we'll have Canada, and Newfoundland was still a separate place, and, wow, what's up here? Labrador, PEI, Prince Edward Island, I didn't know there was another place apart from Newfoundland which was semi-independent, um, I mean, it's probably just a state, right, so it's not Newfoundland, not Labrador, not PEI, Okay, we'll come back to that. Uh, USA, 100% independent. Mexico, 100% independent. Uh, Cuba wasn't independent, but it will be here if they're counting colonies, because well, it was Spanish and then American. Not quite sure of the timing of that one. There was an independence movement with, like, Jose Marti and stuff around this time. But, um, yeah. Uh, Haiti was, of course, the first black um, majority independent country in the world. Did briefly become... Um, part of France again, I believe, but then became, in the, should have been independent by about 1900, and then Dominican Republic, I think it was independent by this point, and then Central America, we've got tons, so this was briefly the Central American Federation, um, but I guess by this point it was not, so we'd have Guatemala, El Salvador, Nicaragua, Honduras, uh, Costa Rica, and Panama was part of the US, I think, um, because they built the Panama Canal. Uh, oh, there's nothing there for it either. Oh, maybe it's part of Colombia or Costa Rica? Hard to tell. And then Belize was called British Honduras, I think. Oh, and we've got one more up here. Was there like a... Um... 
Huh, interesting. I was just thinking, wondering if there was like a another country which had colonial claims on what's now Belize. Anyway, let's go down to um, South America because uh, that's pretty similar to what we know now. Uh, Colombia, Venezuela, Ecuador, and does that have the um, Galapagos Islands? Just try, trying to work out what this uh, little island here is. Um, hmm, okay, interesting. Peru, Bolivia. Is this before Bolivia lost its sea coast? No, it was afterwards. Chile, uh, Bolivia used to have a coast which um, extended onto the uh, Pacific Ocean, but um, it, they lost it in a war with Chile. Uh, Argentina, Uruguay, Brazil, and Paraguay. Okay, and then we've got what looks like to be the Falkland Islands down there. Perfect. And then uh, we'll have French Guiana, which is still part of France. Uh, Dutch Guiana, which is now Suriname. Uh, maybe Dutch Guiana, cool. And British Guiana, which is now just Guiana, right? Perfect, and then we're going to have the Caribbean. Um, so a lot of this could be just similar names to what we have them now. So for example, Jamaica, Barbados, Bahamas, um, Bermuda. Is that going to be here? It is, brilliant. Um, then we're going to have Dominica, nope. Uh, Guiana, nope. Uh, not Guiana, sorry, uh, Grenada. Uh, no, okay. Uh, we'll have... Uh, what else am I thinking? St. Lucia, St. Vincent, and the Grenadines. No, these could be under a different configuration uh, of British countries. Um, same with St. Kitts and Nevis. I wonder if Trinidad and Tobago. Okay, and then Antigua and Barbuda. Okay, these, I have a feeling these might have been called like the British West Indies. No, okay. Um, we're going to have Dutch places, so Dutch West Indies, okay, and then uh, Puerto Rico, that's hard keeping these all straight, um, and then British, okay, let's do the French ones first, so Martinique, uh, St. Martin, um, and then uh, the Dutch one, St. Martin, is this going to be Dutch West Indies? Did I try that already? Okay, maybe I did. Um, Guadeloupe. Okay, so the French seem to have um, Cayman Islands, cool. Uh, Turks and Caicos. Uh, Virgin Islands. Uh, I was just going to say the French seem to have done a better job of um, keeping their colonies and or territories separate. Uh, USA, Virgin Islands. Uh, there were Swedish West Indies. No. Uh, we tried French, right? I don't think there was any Spanish. But was there a Danish West Indies? There might have been, actually. Yeah, okay, cool. Um, was that what's now US Virgin Islands? Is that right? Possibly. Okay, and I think at least one of these is going to be... Um, what's kind of become uh, like the smaller nations in the Caribbean, like the Saints and uh, Antigua and Barbuda and stuff like that. But then am I missing any French ones? Um, oh, is the French one, is this one up here St. Pierre? Yes, it is St. Pierre and Mil Miquelon. Uh, Miquelon, excellent, okay. So it wasn't actually part of Canada, it was a, a French territory which still exists. Okay, um, we have British West Indies. Uh, Oh, what about, like, Windward Islands? Yes, there we go, and Leeward Islands. Okay, cool, yeah, these are the minor um, minor islands in the Caribbean. They still play cricket under that name, actually. Can't tell you which one is which. And then uh, Dutch Antilles? Uh, um, it's a French one that I've just missed again. It does happen quite a bit, doesn't it? Um, unless it's, like, Montserrat or... Oh, gosh. It is one, right? I've done all the ones which are now French departments. So French Guiana, Martinique, Guadalupe, Mayotte, and um, Réunion. Interesting. And I'm not sure what this one up here is. Did I type? 
Uh, unless it's like French Guatemala or something like that. No. Okay. It's not like Yucatan. It's near that part of the world. Okay, great. We're going for 20 minutes. Without 123, I think 200 would be a good guess, but Indonesia is concerning to me. Right, okay, let's try... Um, right, Africa is going to have the most name changes out of any, but let's do St. Helena in the Atlantic Ocean. Okay, are there any other islands? These islands here are a little concerning. Right, let's do uh, Cape Verde. Or just Cape Colony, okay. Excellent, I'll take it. Um... Not Cabo Verde, definitely Cape Verde at that point. Um, oh, South Africa, we could have Transvaal. Okay, and Orange Free State. Okay, cool. And then, ooh, we've got still a bunch in South Africa. Uh, oh, those could be um, Masuto Land, which is now Lesotho, is that right? Um, and, well, Swaziland, okay. Huh, what was um, Lesotho called? It's not Lesotho. I, I do like the fact they make us type in the historical names, otherwise it would just be too easy. Uh, okay. Um, yeah, Africa has probably changed names the most. Anyway, Morocco, I'm fairly certain, was quasi-independent at that point. Um, there is one down here, like... Is that Spanish Sahara? Is that what it was called? It was. Perfect. Great. Pulling this from somewhere. And then... Um, our Algeria, okay, I'm just going to, French Algeria, and then probably the same with Tunisia, uh, French Tunisia, perfect, um, Egypt was kind of, yeah, I, I'm not entirely sure how it was set up at that point, but um, it was independent enough to be also be able to rule um, uh, Sudan in collaboration with the British, so it was Anglo-Egyptian Sudan, um, Ethiopia and Liberia were both independent, of course. 200 might be doable. Um, right, uh, Senegal. Well, that was called Senegal. Gambia was probably called Gambia. I think Guinea... Uh, is it French Guinea? Well, there was French West Africa, right? And French Equatorial Africa... But it's possible that those were kind of conglomerations of um, colonies which came later on. French Equatorial Guinea. Okay, um, Mali, like French Mali. Okay, um, Upper Volta instead of Burkina Faso. No, that's different. Uh, Sierra Leone might still have been called Sierra Leone. Excellent. And then Guinea Bissau was Portuguese. Uh, so I'm guessing it's going to be Portuguese Guinea. Cool, okay, we are clearing the map pretty well. Uh, let's do uh, Ivory Coast, definitely not the Gold Coast. Uh, and then Gold Coast was Ghana. Cool, and then uh, Togoland and Dahomey was um, Benin. Uh, Nigeria, that's, oh, was it Nigeria or Nigeria? French Nigeria and French Chad, okay, um, that's helpful. Are they... Was Chad part of Equatorial Africa? Maybe. Wow, there's a lot of places here around the Nigerian. Um, the Igbo land, was that a place? Or am I just making that up? Um, okay, well, let's, let's type Nigeria at least and see what happens. No, okay. Uh, French Cameroon, but I think that's with a... Oh, I think that's with a U, but I could be wrong. Um, Libya was... Was that Italian? Italian North Africa? Hmm. Oh, there's a name for that right as well. Uh, ooh, okay. Uh, oh, we've got the Somali land. So, British Somali land, French Somali land, and Italian Somali land. Okay, uh, and then still some more up here, Djibouti, but that was French Somali land, wasn't it? Like, unless they're doing like Punt land? No, okay. Uh, Madagascar was Malagasy, uh, unless it's just French Madagascar. Okay, and then down here we've got an interesting little one as well. wonder if there was like a um, concession of some kind on the island of Madagascar. Uh, we'll have German Southwest Africa, which is Namibia, 
by way of um, South Africa. And then we've got Northern Rhodesia, which is Zambia. No, is it just Rhodesia? Because normally Northern Rhodesia is Zambia and Southern Rhodesia is um, Zimbabwe. And then Nyasaland, which is Malawi. Um, Zanzibar was probably separate enough from Tanga Nikia. Oh gosh. Uh, okay, let's just, let me just check how to spell that. Okay, that was pretty close. It was Tanga Nikia, like that with an A. Right, and then we're going to have Kenya. Hold on. British Kenya? No, um, Uganda. Was that called Uganda? It was. And then there was, um, Ubangi? No, uh, Central African Republic was called something. I think it was starting with U. And what was, what was British Kenya called? Oh my goodness. I should know that. All right, uh, Belgian Congo, French Congo, um, Belgian, Rwanda and Burundi were part of Belgian Congo. Um, we're going to have Angola, no, uh, Mozambique. Oh, these are going to use their Portuguese names. Is it Portuguese, like Southwest Africa? I don't actually know what these were called. Um... And we've got some more down in South Africa as well. Okay, so it was Cape Colony, Natal. Um, oh, and then Botswana. What, how do you spell Botswana? It's like Bichuna land. Back in a second. Okay, I was pretty close. I think there's an A there. Perfect. Okay, great. Um, okay, so how are we going? We have done 164 to 234. Not bad. Um, there's going to be a few obvious ones which I miss for sure, but I would like to spend a bit of time trying to puzzle through them. So let me. Okay. Gabon. Okay. Um, Equatorial Guinea might still have the same name. No. Uh, Sao Tome and Principe. Nope. That's Portuguese. Um, okay, I feel like I can do I can do better than this. Um, Norfolk Island. Pitcairn Island. I just can't believe I forget what British Kenya was called. British Kenya. Soto land? Philosoto? Hmm. Hold on. Um, Basuto land. Is that right? Okay, perfect. Great. And then, is that all of South Africa done? It is. Excellent. That's good. Um, right. This is definitely Portuguese. Is it Upper Rhodesia? Uh, I thought maybe Upper and Lower Rhodesia rather than Northern and Southern Rhodesia. North Rhodesia, Northern Rhodesia, no, okay. And this stuff around uh, Nigeria is extremely concerning. Let Yoruba Hauser, unless it was just broken down by Lagos, okay, interesting. Unlikely to be a Abuja. Um... I can try Biafra, but I'm not sure how independent it was at that point. Uh, like Kano, Ibadan, um, Port Harcourt. Um, I know at least a whole bunch of these in Africa. British Malaya? British Malaysia, Penang, no, 
Sarawak. Okay, great. Sarawak. Now, I think that's the west coast of, uh, or the western part of um, uh, Borneo. Um, so, like, maybe Kinabalu then as well. No. Um, Georgetown. Like, Johor. Okay, Johor. Yep, that's perfect. Uh, that's over this way. Banda Arche. Just Arche? Okay, Arche. Brilliant. Sumatra. Um, straight settlements. Please work for that. Straight. Yes, there we go. Straight settlements. This is the Straits of Malacca here. And while we're talking about Malacca, let's try that. Okay. All these names hidden in my, uh, hidden in my brain. Right, surely I can get some of these. These are New Caledonia. Should be one of them. Yep, perfect. It's the French one. And then this is Samoa. Surprised Fiji isn't here, but like British Pacific Ocean Territory? British Tonga? Just going with like um colonial era naming conventions there. Um, Solomon Islands. Gilbert Islands, but that's Kiribati, we already said that. Alice Islands? I'm sure certainly Alice Islands were um, Solomon Island, uh, something. Uh, what was Vanuatu called at that point? Definitely had a name I would have heard of. What about like Cook Islands? Mm. Nui... Seems unlikely. Um, and even like Tokelau, Tuvalu. These have probably got names which I've heard of. I just can't quite can't quite get there. What have we got down here in Indonesia? So we could have like Flores, um, Dutch Timor, just Timor, uh, Brunei. So this is all part of like Dutch East Indies, but... Um, I'm guessing there was some kind of, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Some kind of uh, breakdown in governance. It's like Dutch Borneo? The northern part of um, Borneo was British, which is where Sarawak was. Um, Brunei as well. Java, Flores, Bali... Lombok, Sumban, no, okay, right, what have we got up here in, by Japan, um, so we tried Okinawa, we tried Iwo Jima, um, oh, I know what it'd be, the, the Ryuku Islands, no, uh, what's the other islands that are around Japan, um, I thought it was the Ryuku Islands, There's the other ones as well. So these are the Kuril Islands up to the northeast. And there's, I thought, what I thought was the Ryuku Islands and then something else. But um, I guess not. Spratly Islands. And then, gosh, up here we've got like... British Manchuria? Uh, was it like Manchuko? Manchuko, was that what it was called at some point? No. And down here we've got what I presume is a French or Portuguese settlement on the southeast coast of India. Um, but I can't get that. Okay, uh, we've got Libya, which was ruled by the Italians at that point, I think. Um, but for the life of me, I cannot think of what the settlement was called. And then like... Well, it looks to be Northern Chad and Western Sudan. So, like, Darfur. No. Egyptian Sudan. French Sudan. That would be it, right? Surely. No. Okay, that's annoying. Um, and then we've got what looks to be kind of Burkina Faso and French West Africa. And then we've already done Ivory Coast. Gold Coast, Togoland, and Dahomey. So these will all be around either Equatorial Guinea or 
Nigeria type ways. Um, like what about Portuguese West Africa? Yes, there we go. That is Angola, isn't it? And is it going to be Portuguese East Africa then? Okay, what about like British East Africa? Is that what they called Kenya? Yes, it is. Okay, Kenya and uh, Uganda together. Perfect. Okay, um, down here, is that Katanga? Uh, I also see Kabinda. Yes, perfect. That's the little part between um, the little exclave of Angola there. I didn't actually realize it was ruled separately, but apparently it was. And then this area here, kind of between Angola and what's now Zambia, I don't know. I don't know what's down here by... Oh, hold on. If that's Comoros, Comoroland. Mm. I wonder if it's like a separate part of Comoros, which is now uh, separate. And then down here we've got like, I don't know, like British Madagascar. Okay, right. Okay, this is Abyssinia. Although Ethiopia worked for that, so. And then we've got what's now Eritrea. So I tried Italian Somaliland, French Somaliland, British Somaliland. So I don't know what these places would be called. And then we've got the um, <coughs> Nansant um, Saudi Arabia. Which I couldn't tell you what name that went under. And then just to finish it off, we've got three in the Americas, probably a French place or British place that I have heard of, I just can't think of. And I th thought for sure this would be the Galapagos Islands, but I guess not. It's not Clipperton Island, by any oh, it is Clipperton Island, it's French, okay, I guess the Galapagos are further away. And then this is kind of near British Honduras, which is now Belize. Let's just try Belize, just in case it's a name coming from somewhere else. Um... Mexican Honduras. All right, 177. Can we give it a couple more minutes just to see if we can get to 180? French New Guinea. Um, I should know some of these South American. Oh, sorry. Uh, Oceanian places. Okay, I think I remember what Vanuatu was called. It was called the New Hebrides. Yep, there we go. Okay, um, that just leaves a few of these around here. One of which will be Tonga, possibly Fiji, maybe. Um, not like South Sandwich Islands. No, I'm not even sure where they are, to be honest. Right, uh, 178 out of 234. I would like to remember what these Japanese islands are called. I'm sure one of them are called the Ryuku Islands. And then, yeah, Kyushu, no. Um, I think I did pretty well. I'm pretty happy with that. I'm going to be annoyed with which one I missed here in the Caribbean. But I'm not going to sit here for the next 15 minutes trying to remember what I already typed. It's already been a long video. So uh, let's see. Let's see how we did. Okay, so it doesn't actually show up on the map, but it is segregated by um, uh, by place. Oh, I see. It's organized by um, colonial powers. Oh, that's... I wish I'd noticed that earlier. That's annoying. Okay, so southern Nigeria and northern Nigeria. Um, in Asia, we missed North Borneo. Okay, we tried West Borneo and East Borneo, I think, but not, um, <laughs> not North Borneo. And Labuan, which I've not heard of. Uh, any of these, please elaborate in the comments below, because um, I won't have time to put everything on screen here. And then in China, we missed Wei Highway, Tianjin, Zhujiang, Xinjiang, and Amoy. Not heard of any of these. Oh, this is annoying. Oceania was the Gilbert and Alice Islands. So I tried, typed Gilbert Islands and Alice Islands separately. And then British Western Pacific Territories, which I guess maybe includes like Tonga and stuff. In Portugal, we missed Sao Tome and Principe. So we tried, typed Sao Tome and Principe. If you want to give me that, I think, we'll, we'll, we'll see. Um, <laughs> that was the only Portuguese uh, territory you missed, which was interesting. Um, France, we missed St. Bar Saint Bart's, yeah. Not a uh, integral department of France, but still a colony, and I did suspect it was going to be French. Um, then in the Oceania, we missed Kingdom of Uvea, Alo, and Sagave. My sus 
suspicion is these are parts of what's now um, New Caledonia because there were no marks next to French Polynesia um, on the map. So yeah, that would be my guess. Uh, I'll, I'll try and look that one up. Uh, this was French Dami, so different from British Dami, I guess. French Upper Volta. I thought I tried that, but I guess not. Uh, Fokardis and Bajibo, Da Al Kuti, which I think is Sudan ways, and Kingdom of Imarina. French India, actually, just blatantly French India. I don't know where that was exactly in India. And then in China, we had some concessions, so Kuang Shuwan and Tianjin. Uh, Spain, we missed just Spanish Guinea, which I guess is uh, Equatorial Guinea these days. Uh, in German, we got uh, Miss German New Guinea, Cameroon. Okay, so this is the German spelling of Cameroon. And then Chinese concessions, which is Kyotsho Bay and Tianjin as well. Gosh, Tianjin would have been a good one to type. Uh, we missed Italian Eritrea, so kind of annoying. And then the US Tianjin as well. Gosh, poor Tianjin. Would have been one of the most metropolitan cities in the world at that point in 1900. Russia, also Tianjin and Liaodong. Uh, Japan, uh, Ryukyu Islands, so I just, did I just spell those incorrectly, I think, Nampo Islands and Penku Islands, uh, countries in Europe, we should have got them all, uh, independent countries, well, quasi-independent countries in uh, Asia, Najran, Banja, Luo, Baton, Kilnawe, Sulu, and in Africa, uh, Senusia, Asuya, the Dervish State, uh, the Ankoji Sultanate, Cassandre Kingdom, Wadai Empire, Mbunda Kingdom, Daju Sultanate, Sokoto, Aro Confederacy, Kingdom of Nuri, Kebi Kingdom, and Adar State. So a lot of those will be around the Nigeria region. North America, with the only one we missed here was Maya Cruzob, which I've not heard of at all, but please, uh, information in the comments below would be fantastic. Wow, what a fantastic quiz. Alex Kowal, thank you so much. This is amazing. Um, I'm sure there'll be some nitpicks in the comments below around what qualifies and what doesn't. But, you know, countries are subjective, more so in 1900. So, full credit from me. Um, the most obvious ones we missed were Saltome and Principe, uh, Spanish Guinea, and I'm guessing like North Borneo. Okay, and then Cameroon. Were there any big ones we did get though? Uh, straight settlements. Okay, that was a that was a good guess. Danish West Indies and Johor, uh, which is kind of like the part of uh, the Malayan Peninsula, just over the over the coast from Singapore, I believe. And we've got Lagos and Clipperton Island. So overall, I am incredibly happy with that. Thank you so much for making this quiz. Thank you so much for watching this. There's plenty of other quizzes uh, on this channel if you wanted to check them out. I also have a Patreon and a Buy Me a Coffee in the description below. But this has been a long video. So until next time, I'll say see you later. Kaki Tano. Bye.